still in there? I think so. I can hear someone in there. Keep that door shut, man. I don't want to go head to head with Batman. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So already we actually have access to critical strikes, as you can see, and uh, these guys are going to have their day ruined because of that. I'm going to get punched right here. Darn it. That was really close. If you do a ground takedown, enemies uh, will... Oh, <laughs> nice. Batman wins. Spoiler alert. Um... If you, uh, if you try and initiate a ground takedown and there's an enemy standing up, they'll automatically try and punch you. Like, immediately their AI will be like, he's trying to do a ground takedown, we need to punch him right now. So, only do a ground takedown when you're absolutely positive that enemies won't be able to hit you. Uh, as for, as for the city, yeah, we can actually do a bit of exploring now. So, first things first, we gotta go to the church. Are you not gonna notice no me? Idea. It's the freaking bat. Okay, now they notice. <laughs> you wanna come over here? Come on. What are you waiting for? Okay, fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, obviously uh, dealing with uh, when you're flying around the city, you're gonna be seeing thugs all over the place, and they actually have all have like unique dialogue, and uh, the amount of thug dialogue uh, while gliding through the city is insane, especially for 2011. Again, this game is phenomenal, and, like, it came out in 2011. What the heck? Uh, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. <laughs> okay. This game in 2011, and it's horribly broken, as you can see. And I'm gonna get punched. God damn it. Okay, I gotta stop doing ground takedowns. There we go. So, as you can see, the way Batman, like, actually flows to different targets in this game is, uh, vastly improved over, uh, Arkham Asylum. He just does it a lot more, uh, free-flowing. Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, when you're, uh, dealing with thugs, you can have, uh, there's obviously a bunch of different ways you could, could have taken those guys out, but, uh, honestly, good old fisticuffs is the way I like to do it. Okay, medical center. What the hell? <laughs> Let the lady go, bat freak, or these people all get a bullet in their heads. I think you should do what he says. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What do you think, bat brain? Like it? What am I saying? Of course you do. Who wouldn't? Eh. Bring back the old Harlequin outfit. Oh, anyway, That's what gets my rocks off. Here's gonna... Uh, what the... <laughs> Mind games! Huh. Attacking armed thugs head-on is suicide. I need to disappear. Pick them off silently, one by one. Sounds Don't like a plan. Move. Goodbye! <laughs> like the night! I don't know where I am. Good. Let's keep it that way. Time to survey the room. Plan out my tactics. Four thugs, all armed. Two hostages. This is gonna be easy. Okay, so this is your little uh, predator mode tutorial, and uh, Batman does a great job of explaining how it all works. Because uh, yeah, these guys are going to be going to uh, glide to the scaffolding above him without being seen and take him down from there. This tutorial does a really good job because Batman Batman sounds really cocky during this whole tutorial, and it also gives you uh, it gives you like four different kinds of takedowns just to practice immediately. So uh, obviously you can do above takedown. There we go. You're safe. Stay quiet. So, silent, for silent takedowns, you can also do knockout smashes, which will alert nearby guards. Uh, silent takedowns, however, are completely silent. No one will hear a silent takedown unless they are directly next to you. But even then, you can sometimes do it. Uh, you can sometimes do it uh, in a in a line of people if you're really uh, if you're really lucky. 
Okay, this guy is in a confessional booth right now. There we go. You didn't actually see that guy because Batman didn't talk about him, but I like saying the del I like saving the double takedown guys for last. Just survey the room. Just two guys right now. Okay, all we gotta do is just drop down and double takedown. <laughs> The room is secure. You're safe now. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Yo, Batman. Thanks for the help. Oh, they just actually just break out of the cuss. I was gonna help them out of them, but okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, hey, Cash. Don't you run past me. <laughs> I am your superior. Get the hell back here. Oh, uh, probably a better idea. Okay, people, listen up. We're in control here, not these animals. I want this place locked down tight. All medical staff check supplies. Find out if anything was taken. Well, what about Stacy? Is anyone going after her? I don't know if any of you just noticed, but Batman just saved our asses. Damn right. If anyone can find her, he'll do it. Okay, does everyone understand? Look after the wounded, keep the bad guys out. We're a team. Let's keep it that way. Hey, you do you, Cash. I'll do me. And uh, I'm going to find uh, where that sniper shot came from. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, indoor areas are obviously going to be... We've already been in two indoor areas now, but uh, there are several indoor areas that are all... Uh, I'd actually say on average they're a little bit smaller than the indoor areas from Arkham Asylum. Uh, just because of the open world is so much bigger, but... Uh, Still, there, there's there's uh, there's a decent amount of indoor areas, and some of them are quite big. But uh, regardless, let's uh, ascend to the top of the tower. There's oh. the gun. It looks like it's being controlled remotely by Joker. Hmm. Well, look who it is. Hello, hello, hello. How long has it been? Let's see. There was an asylum, some monsters, and oh, that's right. You left me to die. Now, you probably don't remember it that way, but who cares? You just need to worry about the bombs. What? Hurry up now. Clock's ticking. Oh, shit. Wouldn't be Joker without an explosive finish. Alfred, I've got a lock on the signal used to remotely control the sniper rifle. Joker's behind this. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> the radio signal should lead me right to him. Good luck, sir. You should have been back here hours ago. Okay, so uh, that's your uh, little brief uh, sneak peek at uh, the Joker in this game. Joker, obviously voiced by Mark Hamill in the in the Arkham games and. This is probably one of his best performances, honestly. It's yeah, it, Joker in this game. If you play this game, just yeah, it's it's really good. Also, before any of you po point out, yes, there is actually an Easter egg in that room. If you uh, if you actually uh, wait a couple minutes, then Joker will actually have some new dialogue that uh, gives some uh, insight on some some things. Uh, as for this, uh, yes, this is one of the 400 Riddler trophies that uh, I was mentioning before, so uh, all we have to do is just press on those three switches and then it opens. Obviously not all of them are that simple, there's a lot of different puzzles and stuff involved with, uh, involved with doing them. A lot of them use different gadgets and uh, so on and so forth. There we go. So yeah, you did, like that free-flowing movement that I just did just to get over these guys would absolutely not work if this was Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Be a lot slower, that's for sure. And goodbye. Hey, that backwards kick is the same one that Bruce Wayne did. <laughs> that's kind of weird. I guess they, I guess they practiced from the same dojo or something. Anyway, again, we're absolutely not going to be focusing on every single Riddler trophy. Don't worry about it. Uh, AR training downloaded from the computer. That is actually something we're going to be doing. Again, we're not going to focus too much on side quests. I will show uh, a sneak peek at all the side quests. Maybe the conclusion to some of them. Some of them aren't necessarily worth it. 
but uh, one of the side missions that we're absolutely going to want to do is AR training because we get the best, single best upgrade in the entire game for doing it. So let's take a look at our map. Augmented reality training online. And uh, there's also a distress flare right here. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. How should we proceed? Acknowledge. Most likely Mr. Wayne is attempting to contact his people. It won't do him any good. He will die in Arkham City. So, speaking of side objectives, let's actually just quickly uh, take a look at that one right now. And here, here's another Riddler trophy that I can show off really quick, so... This one, uh, never mind, we can't actually do this one. <laughs> that one we'll actually need our electric weapon from the first game to actually tackle. One of the few gadgets they didn't actually uh, bring back. Uh, bring back uh, for your default loadout, I mean. Anyway, so the Distress Flare is right over here, so let's just quickly... Uh... Oh, see that cool roll? They added a ton of new like animations for stuff. It's really cool, and, and again... Rocksteady is amazing, so, but when you actually get to night, it's like, even though City, like, really didn't even need that many improvements as far as movement is concerned, night is even more uh, free flowing, and there's a million more animations they added, and it's really awesome. As awesome as elbowing that guy in the face. Okay, let's go quickly go to Wayne Tech and uh, Special Combo Boost. Let's see. All Special Combo Boosts will be attainable after achieving Combo 5. Uh. Yeah, why not? Again, we're not going to be getting... Free Flow Focus is fantastic. We're not really going to be getting uh, that much in the way of damage at the beginning, so I don't think we really need to worry about... Uh, worry about upgrading armor for uh, quite a while. But uh, for now, let's just check out this flare. And see who's calling for help. Oh, crap. Um, are you gonna beat me up again? Please don't. Surprised to see me, Batman? A little. Last time I saw you, you were wrapped around the hood of my car. <laughs> you knew it would not kill me. I wasn't trying to. I'm in no mood for a fight. What are you doing? Batman here? doesn't kill, except Batman for when he clearly does. The Payaso managed to send some off Arkham Island before you stopped him. Nah, damn it. How much more did Joker manage to get off the island? Too much. That is why I am here. I will not allow the Basura of this city to abuse the Titan. Dr. Young used me to create it. It is my duty to destroy what remains. I'll help you, but understand this. If you try anything, I'm taking you down too. We find Titan containers, we destroy them. Deal? <laughs> of course. Each container has a radio beacon built in. There were 12 containers left in this city. We take six each, then we meet back here. Oh. That's... Six each? Fine. Sounds like a good compromise. Today isn't a good day to lie to me, Bane. Oh. Remember that. <laughs> it's never a good day to lie to you. Okay, so this is just, uh... This is just your typical, like, collect-a-thon side quest. Uh, throughout the game, there are going to be just Titan containers that we can destroy. Frag that picture right here is terrifying. Fragile Alliance. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to destroy some of them. Uh, <laughs> don't get your hopes up for, like, oh, yeah, let's just get all of them right now. Because, yeah, there's one in Wonder Tower. And if it isn't obvious, Hugo Strange is held up in Wonder Tower. So we're not going to be able to go there for quite a while. So if you're hoping to finish a lot of the side quests in this game before finishing the main story, don't get your hopes up. A lot of them can only be completed after you've beaten the game. Not all, but some. pay for this. Okay. It's, uh... Oh, we can't actually do that. Is that everything in here? Looks like it is. Okay. Uh, wait. No. There's another thing right there, and it doesn't do anything. Okay. But yeah, that's just, uh, that's one of the more uh, simpler side quests in this game, and, uh, yeah, we'll destroy them when we come by them. Okay. Back in the outskirts of Amusement Mile, and let's just, uh, again, ah, uh, there's so many cool animations they've added that make it feel uh, so much more free-flowing. Welcome, inmate. You are now taking your first 
the steps towards a better world. A world of fun, mischief, and that's all. A world where the only person you need to answer to is yours truly. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, throughout Amusement Mile, there's another collectible that we're going to have to worry about. We don't have to worry about it, rather, but uh, there's actually poppable balloons all over this place. And you get 50 XP for each one, so it does add up quite a bit, because you only need, like, a thousand to level up. So, uh, for now, let's actually do the AR training. Oh, God. Rocksteady taking a page out of Superman 64's book. Maybe they made it a little bit better, but uh, yes, now we just got to fly through rings. Uh, the difference between this and Superman 64 is that uh, you actually get an insane upgrade. An upgrade so good that it's kind of baffling they didn't make it... Uh, they didn't make it mandatory, honestly. Uh, the, the upgrade is so vital to exploring the city that they probably should have made it vital to actually acquire, but uh, they didn't. You can actually skip this, so I feel bad for anyone who played this game who didn't do the training because uh, you're really, really missing out on exploring the city in the most fun possible way. So, yeah, AR training is as simple as flying through the rings. Very, very simple. Uh, again, this is a good... Uh, this is actually a good tr a training simulator for if you have played uh, Arkham Asylum, because again, just the flying in this game is so much... Uh, deeper than what it was in Arkham Asylum. In Arkham Asylum, you fly straight. That's all you do. But in this, you uh, you do a lot more than that. Like this. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, just one more to go. Not sure where that one landed, though. Oh, it's right back up there. Awesome. Again, I pointed this out earlier, but uh, the ambient music, not really ambient, the orchestral uh, track that you're going to be hearing throughout the game, which will change throughout the throughout the game, it's not just the same song for the whole game, is phenomenal. Arkham City soundtrack is incredible. It's definitely the best of the Arkham series. Arkham Knight has a good soundtrack, but it, it just, it can't compare to how grandiose Arkham City is, especially in comparison to Arkham Asylum. Just such an... In, Immaculate improvement. I see you have called in the bat wings, sir. Did I forget to pack something? No, Alfred. I think I need the grapnel boost. Oh no! <laughs> Just saying the name makes me tingle. It's still in the prototype stage. I've done enough training. I'm ready. <laughs> My body is ready, Alfred. Okay, so we can check uh, check out the. Uh, there we go. We can check out the Grapnel Boost location, but I already know where it is. It's right over here. So, let's just grab it right now. Oh, yes. Prototype Grapnel Boost. So, yes, this is the upgrade, upgrade of the century, because what the Grapnel Boost allows you to do, again... It really should have been mandatory. It's actually unlocked by default in Origins and Night, and in Night it's insane. I, I I'm sorry, I love Night so much, but um, Grapnel Boost essentially, all you have to do is just double tap the grapple button, or uh, double tap the uh, the sprint button, and when you grapple, you'll go flying at twice the speed, and you will launch off whatever you grapple to. So, and you can chain this forever. So instead of landing and then flying off and grappling again. All you have to do is just grapple the one time, and you will go flying off. And again, this makes traversing the city a million times faster. Uh, even though, it, like, j just to give you, like, an idea, like, e even though, like, you have to do that slow, like, five-minute AR training, like, even the speedrun picks up this item just because it just makes it that much faster, even with the five minutes it takes just to unlock it. It's really, really good, and it's definitely the best mechanic they've added to the gliding in this game, besides the diving. Uh, though, pretty much those two upgrades are what makes uh, flying in this game so goddamn fun. Anyway, back to our Wayne Tech screen, because we have another upgrade already. Uh, upgrades come really quick, I'm not going to lie. So uh, let's get uh, free flow focus. So uh, what this basically does is just makes it so... Uh, <laughs> You you go even faster if you have a combo of twelve. With critical strikes, you actually only need a combo of uh, you only need six hits essentially, 
to uh, get into free flow focus, which is really easy to get. Free flow power gadgets, which makes uh, you your gadgets super powered uh, at the cost of your free flow. So if you have a combo of 12, if you use a gadget, it'll be super powered, but then your combo won't be free flow anymore. It'll, it'll still keep your combo, but it won't be flashing red. Uh, we won't get that right away. We'll actually, now we're focusing on the special combo takedown because we definitely want this one right here. This one is horribly broken. It's incredible, incredible, incredible. Okay. Jeez. Again, uh, a lot of the villains are going to be com uh, commentating uh, throughout the game on the uh, on the intercom, uh, making fun of us for how uh, how worthless we are and how Batman you can't possibly possibly win, you know, etc. etc. But we're going to win because we're Batman. <laughs> it's the uh... also yeah that that actually hit that uh, batarang all the way from over there. That's incredible. Aw, oh, darn, this guy knows where I am. Get down here and fight that. <laughs> okay, you get one hit. That's all I'm gonna give you. Okay, so uh, this is a second round of AR training. This one doesn't actually give you an insane upgrade or anything. Also, this one is freaking advanced for a reason. To the point where I can't consistently do this one because I have no idea how to actually do it. This one is ridiculously difficult. It's kind of weird that it's like, oh yeah, after doing the really easy one, here's like a super duper hard one. But uh, yeah, there's no way that we're going to actually be able to do that. Uh, this right here is a pink Riddler trophy, and this is actually a city exclusive thing. And uh, if you might be able to guess, but pink Riddler trophies can only be acquired by Catwoman. So uh, if you see them out in the open as Batman, can't do anything about it, sadly. You have to wait until... You are exploring the city as Catwoman. 